All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Break 75. I'm over here in the US, in Florida, playing a very special golf course today, the Floridian. Oh, being phenomenal. That will play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. This place is a joke. I mean, it is absolutely different level. One exclusive golf club um, and one of the best in the area. Now, my good friend, Claude Harmon III, who coaches players like DJ and Brooks Kepka and a number of other huge tour players, invite me down. Now, unfortunately, he can't come out and play with us because he's coaching, but I've just checked out his studio and let's catch up with Claude to see what he thinks I'm going to shoot around this very challenging golf course. Tell them what you think I'm going to do around here today. Knowing the golf course, knowing that I don't know it. Okay, knowing the golf course. Um, so the greens here at the Floridian are pretty good and um, just so happens that you guys are showing up uh, this weekend we have our biggest tournament, which is called the Floridian Pro Member. So my dad's playing, uh, he's playing with Harold Varner. We got Ricky Fowler playing, we got Gary Woodland playing. So the course is in good shape. The greens are quick. Um, I'm thinking it's probably not going to be the ball striking for our man here, but could be a little bit of the flat stick because he's going to hit some good shots, run it to about 15 feet. And it's going to be a little bit downhill and he's going to run that thing 10 feet past. And then he's going to have a lot of 10 footers for par coming back in. I'm going full rules of golf. Yeah. Full rules. Okay. Um, I'm going to set the over and what, what's your score? I'm, I'm trying to break 75. I'm, I'm going to take the, op, the over and under is 78 and I am taking the under. Okay, so we're going in blind round here today. I don't know the golf course. I've got no one with me. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna wing it. First hole, par four. I mean, it just looks spectacular. A couple of bunkers down the left, one on the right. Not super long this hole, just under 400 yards. You heard Claude then say that breaking 80 will be an achievement. Let's do him proud. Opening tee shot. We record that. <laughs> Speechless. It's one of the best opening tee shots I've ever hit in my life. I'm glad you guys are here to see it at least. Wow. Let's go. Let's go and burn it up. Uh, I actually got the yardage wrong on this hole. It's actually 416 yards off the tees we're playing off. The golf course off the tees I'm playing off around about 7,000 yards. I'm not going all the way back. I'm not going tiger tees. There's no point in doing that to myself. Uh, right, I'm going to hit a shot that goes really close to the flag. Oh, being phenomenal. <laughs> when it's your day, it's your day. <laughs> nice shot in there. I must admit, I thought I was breaking the flag, but I'm, uh, I've got quite a decent distance left in here still. But greens look spectacular. I mean, it really... This place really does look like Augusta. The way that the hills and the contours and the bunkering, it's just instead of azaleas, you're getting palm trees. Okay, for an opening birdie, greens look slicker than slick. Start breaking, start breaking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. even got the speed, even got the speed spot on. As opening holes go, that is near enough perfect. Second hole, par three, 162 yards. Beautiful looking hole. Oh, and an absolute horrendous strike. Okay, back to reality. <laughs> back to reality after that opening hole. Never mind, try and get it up and down from there. <laughs> Got a bit confident. So that is what you call a wide and a miss from the tee there. I've short-sided myself with this little bunker to get over. Grass is just stunning. Oh, luckily for me, the ball's just sat on the grass this time. It can easily sink in. Lob wedge, slide that golf club underneath, stick it in close. Sit, 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 sit. Sit. Yeah, you know what, I'm taking that. That was a hard shot. The ball's still going. <laughs> Okay, silly bogey. But that's what happens when you hit terrible tee shots. Wow. 
wow. Lovely feature there on the back of the tee. Okay, third hole, par four. Looks like another good tee shot's gonna be required. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, 175. Wind's just helping off the right. I'm gonna hit a little eight iron. There's a bunker just right in the front of the green, like the mouth of the green. So I need to make sure I carry that. Pins left, suits my draw. Keep turning. Failed out right. Not the best miss. Gonna be a long putt from there. Check this out for a little touch. The towel that they put on the buggies is wet. The little things in it, you know, the little touches. Love it. Okay. Birdie opportunity on the third. Big sweeping putt this. Gonna swing heavily to the left and it's gonna be fast. Oh, that's off the green. <laughs> that's actually off the, it actually is. It actually is. <laughs> <laughs> the greens are quick. I'm thinking it's probably not going to be the ball striking for our man here, but could be a little bit of the flat stick. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, okay, welcome to the Floridian. Holy smoke. Oh, needed to give that a lot more. Oh, don't go making a double bogey after hitting the green in two. After striping my drive and hitting the green in two, this is now for bogey. It's what Claude said, it'll be all about the flat stick. Oh, <laughs> only dropped one shot. Uh, that could have been incredibly embarrassing. Luckily, managed to salvage it just. Three holes played, two over par. Fourth hole, par three, pins back left, 180 yards. I'm gonna land it in the middle of the green, let the contours bring it round for the back flag, and let's get a birdie. Oh, par three strikes. Get lucky. Get lucky. Keep getting luckier. Okay, we're on the green, but that's uh, that's gonna be almost an impossible putt. <laughs> Not quite straight, I almost don't wanna damage these tees, they look so perfect. I'm scared of taking a divot. It's just heaven. It really is literally heaven on earth, this place. I mean, I'll take one of them every day. Uh, I won't take this putt though. This might end up in the water. This green's on two, two, or, two or three tiers. I'm on this top one here. I've got to literally just drop it over the edge and then it's off and away. And it swings a lot from right to left. Leaving the shorts would be a huge accomplishment. Go, little ball. Go, 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 go. Yeah. I, honestly, I aimed to hit that there. And it went nestled all the way down. Nice par. Good two putt. I'm almost checking if it's real. Is this real life? It's sharp. Look, look at that. It's a tea box. We have greens in, in the UK that aren't as nice as that. Par five, fifth hole. Beast, 560. Couple of bunkers down on the right, one on the left. Looks like it requires another rocket drive. Um, don't think I'll be able to reach those bunkers down there. Sit, 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 sit. That's good. Short of the bunker in A1 position. Third choice is par five, and look how it opens up. I mean, the pin's right at the front here, but I can see everything that falls off just moves away from the green. So I've got 123 yards, private jets going off over the top. <laughs> this is just like bazillionaire golf. 
Oh, be phenomenal. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. We landed on the green and it just spun off the front. I might not be too far away there. That was a mega strike. I think the wind is probably just a bit into face. We come up onto the green here. Can't kind of use enough words to describe how gorgeous it is. Okay, just off the green, birdie opportunity. Mm, stop. Yeah, good for speed, terrible for line. It's actually, as much as that's beautifully smooth around the green, actually putting from it's not particularly easy because it, because it's almost so sharp, it can cause the ball to kind of jump and snag. Really, you should be, really you'd want to be chipping that, but obviously. I also want to hit the green, so that's why I use putter. Take the five on there. It's like playing a video game, this golf course. It really is. Two over, through five. Six hole, short par four here. If I drive it well, like I must admit I have been doing, I reckon I can get pretty close to this, if not on. However, <laughs> Next to the green is two monstrous bunkers. And if I do misstrike it or hit it right, it could get wet. However, positive vibes, I'm gonna knock it on the green. Keep moving. We're up near the green. It was actually a bit too much club that. Okay, so after <clears throat> being very good for distance on this green, to get on the whole, get on the green in one, got a little delicate chip back towards the water. <laughs> this is going to be a tricky little one. Have confidence. Look at it go. I couldn't have done much more from there. The strike was very good for me. Yeah, it just kept going and going and going and going. Birdie chance though. Oh, I've not hit it. I've not hit it. Oh. Back uphill, these greens just like scare you. <laughs> Save four, few pars on the trot. Loving this golf course. Par five, uh, we'll hold it to the seventh hole. Another big boy, nearly 600 yards. Looks tight down there, but driver's good. Let's rock it one down there. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, it's either hung up on the grass, so we might be finding the sand. That was really close. Another three or four yards of cut would have been perfect. We got lucky <laughs> within a couple of yards. I mean, I'm literally. I'm probably one yard away from catching this bank and it whoosh, straight down into the bunker. It stayed up on the grass. Well judged, I would say. Yeah. We're going for it. 260 away, down breeze. I'm absolutely going to rock it a two iron at it. Oh, I've struck it bad and I've got away with it. Chase! Oh, didn't catch it. That was annoying, but we're not far off. We're only getting a little pitch from there. All right, we found the beach, and what a beach it is. Just by the side of the green here, this is third shot. That two iron did unbelievably well, considering how bad I hit it. However, <laughs> this shot, as much as it looks beautiful, is a bit of a, a bit of a nasty one. Pins back right. I've got to hit this to perfection and get it to stop quick. I might actually even just bail a little bit left. Loft and speed. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh that is good. I maybe shouldn't have bailed as far left. Got a nice little look at Birdie here. Yeah? This is good golf. Okay. Birdie opportunity. I don't think I'm gonna get many around this golf course. Got to make them count. I've really got to make this count. It's going to be fast, but there's not a lot of break in it. Straight in the middle. Picture it going in. 
Let's put some birdie sauce on these Floridian greens. It's oh, a good putt as well. Oh, that's a good putt. I didn't see it going left. We're in for par. It's another one on the scorecard. No harm done. Right, eighth hole, par three, beauty. It's only short, 140 yards, pins just front left. All about distance here. Into breeze, I'm gonna clip a little nine iron straight in there and let's stick it in close. Oh, I've not hit it again. Go, 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 go. Fly, little ball. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. Let me just hold that finish. Meant to do it. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't hit it good. <laughs> I got very lucky there. Okay, found the green, birdie putt. It's gonna be slippery, it's gonna be fast. Sit, sit, sit. Oh my goodness, it's so fast. <laughs> Missed it, no, Ricky. Silly boy. Oh, I went for the birdie, I went strong. I should have just tried to trickle it down. Oh, that one stings. That one stings right here in the heart. Ouch. What a life. Beautiful golf course in December in the sun. Driving range there, you've got some huge tour players on there just smacking balls away. <clears throat> little old me making a YouTube video. And little old me three put in the last hole like an absolute numpty. Right, three over par now, frustratingly. Got to get it back on track. No more bogeys. <laughs> For dramatic effect. A little drink. Yep. <laughs> right, 200 yards away, second shot into this par four. One of the worst tee shots I've hit all week and I'm only a few yards offline. I'm gonna drill a two iron straight through the gap and let it run up to the green. This, this should look pretty good if, it, if I can pull this one off. Oh, it'd be amazing. Be amazing, be amazing. Get up there, ball. Oh, we're on the side of the green. That was ridiculous. It didn't come off more than six feet off the ground all the way. Okay, look at this. From there, from that position, stuck under that tree to be able to have got it to here. I'm pretty impressed with that shot. Um, putters out, obviously. Big slope, left to right, up over the hill, and then far away. Sit down, ball. Sit down, sit down. Stop. Stop. Fight! Fight! <laughs> oh, please, buddy, stop. Christ almighty. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh, you'd think after a few days playing greens of this speed, I'd get used to it, but they keep catching me out. Another roll, and that was gone forever. Break now, break now! Ah! After what was a miracle shot for my second, that's another silly bogey. Right, four over through nine. On track for Claude's prediction of shooting 80, or 78 he said really, so no more dropping shots. Let's have a level par or under par back nine in the sunset. Tenth hole, back nine, par four to kick things off. I'm gonna hit it at those bunkers and just tail it into the middle of the fairway. Let's go. Okay, after possibly one of the top five drives of my life, 119 yards from the flag, I'm gonna hit a little gap wedge in there, stick it in close and start this back nine with a, with a bang. Get up there. Oh, 
nice one. All right, all right. Okay, good look at Birdie here. Come on, we really need one now. Right to left, up the hill. I can see it just dropping right in the front door. Oh, Rick, hold the port. Damn. Another power on the card. Okay, three wood on this par four. Looks nice. I think if I put it in position, it should only be a flick into screen. Nice, a little bit floaty, a little bit right, but perfectly on the fairway. Second shot into this hole, beautiful backdrop. It's watered down the left-hand side. Not seen a gator today. I'm sure we will do though. Right, 178 yards, little six, cut it in. Oh, be outrageous. Be outrageous. That was, honestly, that's the best strike I've hit. Because it's actually finished in its own pitch mark. <laughs> Drop and stop. Right, come on, for dirty. First one of the day. It's going to break like crazy. Oh! Just go in the hole. Why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Go in the hole. Ah! Don't feel like I'm going to get many more chances. <sighs> Not as good as that anyway. Damn! So back nine so far, two pars, four over. It's a couple of par fives to come up. But we've got to make a birdie. Got to. Par three. 170 yards pretty much, straight into in the sun. So I'm not complaining about, but just makes it a little bit harder visually. Just plot one in there. Similar shot to last, actually. I'm going to hit seven now because it's slightly downwind now. I've hit it terrible, but it's going to go in the hole. <laughs> That's what you call a thin to win. Okay, so it wasn't actually as close as I thought it was after that horrendous strike. This is going to be fast. Down the hill. I'm just going to literally trickle it. Then break. Yeah, phenomenal for speed. Couldn't really see much of a break there, but it swayed off a little bit to the right. Should have guessed it was going towards the water, right? Another par, three par so far on the back nine, nothing disastrous, but we need to make birdies. That will play. That will play. I'm in a good position, but I'm definitely not going to be able to go for the green. It's like 290 yards away. I'm going to hit a little six iron and then wedge it in. Nice. Third shot, 96 yards, 56 degree. Pins tucked over that bunker. That's going to have so much backspin. <laughs> well, would you believe it? We've hit a good one, a really good one. We couldn't see it from down there, but I actually think if I can see the, if I can find the pitch mark, it felt like that strike where I had loads of spin. It, as you know, look at this. It's pitched here. That's the pitch mark and it zipped back past the flag. Oh, that had a little look in. That could have gone in for eagle. Right, this has to be surely the first birdie. Three wood off the tee, six iron into position A layup, wedge that nearly went in, and a putt that's just moving left to right. For the first birdie, come on. Oh yes, first birdie of the round, gets me to three over, 
It's a par 71 as well. So if we par in, breaking 75, we're getting too cocky. But oh, that felt really good. Nice. Number four with a circle, birdie. Three over, we've got par four, par five, par three, two par fours. Let's go. And I also noticed on the car, just looking before, that's the slope rating for the people that are interested. So I've been playing off the first tees, T1 and T2. So it's probably the slope, the actual rating is probably around about a 74. So yeah, really happy. Playing, playing some good golf. Okay, 14th, par four, water down the right, bunkers down the left, but I'm only looking at one place and that's the beautiful fairway. Oh, I pulled it. Uh-oh, hit the sand, hit the sand, hit the sand. Oh, that's going to be tight. I think I did hit the sand. The reason why I wanted it to hit the sand is because I think it's trouble left of that. Ah, bit of a twitchy drive, that. Okay, we are in the bunker. Fairway bunker, first one of the round. It's right in the middle. I don't even know which angle to come in from. Probably hit like this bank here it did and guided round. Don't go big. Oh, slightly worried it might be big. Okay. Big putt, back of the green. Why I hit seven from that bunker, I'll never know. Should have hit eight. But anyway, let's try and get down in two. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Oh. oh. <laughs> Man. From here, it looks like it's about three rolls away from going right in the middle. Might just be a tiny bit further than that. Oh. God, that was close. I didn't expect to get it in, obviously. I'll be honest, I didn't really expect a two put, but <laughs> oh god. We'll take a par there though every day. Trouble off the tee, wrong club into the green, but a nice two put par. Right, we're just at this little refreshment station. It was stocked up on drinks and snacks. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. So let's let's have a few. Let's have a few of them. Floridian tea pegs. Let's have a couple of ball markers, a couple of pencils. A spare card. Nice touch. Very nice. Okay, par five. Race against light. So you have to play his last four quick. Draw off that bunker. Oh, not drawn. It's not drawn. It's not drawn. Faded. I'm going delirious. His last two holes, I don't think that's quite right. Okay, uh, we've had a little incident. <laughs> the ball didn't go in the bunker. That was screaming it to somehow draw away from when it needs to fade. It's here. Up against this tree. Now I'm hitting the ball that way, which means if we're right on the golfer, that's not great, is it? And I'm slightly scared of snakes or alligators or anything else that could be near. So I'm going to hit this quick and we're going to go left-handed. Nine iron, left-handed shot. There's water on the other side of the fairway too, so I can't hit it too hard. Stop. Okay. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, up against the water's edge. A little bit worried about gators. Um, 188 yards to the pin. Six iron. Come back in. Catch a bit. Ah, missed the green. Is this, is this where it all starts to unravel? Fourth shot into this par five, up and down needed. I'm going to chip it as well. I'm going to do it. Mm. I would have got it close to putting. Okay, for an adventurous par. Oh, Rick. Oh, starting to flag. Okay, par three, 16, 180 yards, 
Six iron in hand. Come on, we need three more pars. Well, actually, after that bogey, we need two pars and a birdie. Oh, no, 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 not over there. Get over the bunker. Yeah, in high, but <clears throat> missed the green left. Okay, second shot into this par three. Need a good up and down here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. Bye, ball. Bye. <laughs> oh, I didn't want this length put for a par. Up the hill, left to right. Take the break. Hit the flag. Oh. Oh, that was a dirty lip out. Oh, thought that was in. Oh, thought that was in. Silly bogey. Five over now. Ah. Check out that for a backdrop. Wow. As literally it's about to go dark in about 10 minutes. That is pretty special. Par four, drivable one by the looks of things. It's gonna be right on the number. I've got to rip it, but it suits that fade I've been hitting. Oh, get good. Get good. Oh, <laughs> that could be. It's not on the green, but it is very close to the side of it. Wow, okay. Just to the side of the green. Look at this for a backdrop. If there's ever a time for a chip in for an eagle, it's right now. Oh, hello. Hello. Now stop. Now stop. Okay. We've got to put for birdie. Okay, come on. This has to drop. Little birdie, running out of light. Need to make it go in. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Floridian. Oh, man, oh, man. Good. Would you, would, I mean, come on. What? One hole to go. One bird you needed. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Talk about saving the best to the last. This 18th hole is something else. I mean, come on. It's literally about to go dark. We can hear a bit of thunder in the distance. We've got a race against time. But you know what? A part of me just wants to stand here and appreciate its beauty. But we've got a job to do. We've got to make birdie. And birdie gets us to 75. So I'm five over. Par four, as you can see, <laughs> there's a bit of water down the right, uh, left, sorry. So I'm going to start it down the left and fade it off the water. Finish it on the clubhouse. Beautiful backdrop. Boom, boom. Yeah, let's go. That's good. That's really good. Look at this. Final shot into the 18th hole. Just under 200 yards to go. What a day. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate you all for watching, I really do. You don't wanna miss out on all the videos coming soon. Right, six iron, dramatic finish. Oh, well, that looks nice. Even though I can hardly see anything, but that looked nice. Don't know where it's finished, but let's hope we're close. Well, would you Adam and Eve it? Look at this. Talk about drama. That's how it's pitched. It's pitched absolutely pin high. Oh, what a day. What a day. What a golf course. What an experience. As it's quite literally about to go dark, I've got this putt for birdie to shoot a 75. Could have been very good today. It could have been very, very good. It could have also gone really badly. <laughs> so I think if I shoot 75 today, I'd be delighted. Left to right, down the hill. Give me one putt, please. Give me one putt. Come on. Massive shout out to Claude for sorting this out and inviting me down. Make sure you check him out. 
for birdie. Come on, Rick. <laughs> oh, I gave it my all. I really did. Blood, sweat and tears out here today for a 76, which I'm more than happy with, if I'm honest with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. <sighs> Do episodes get much better than this? Absolutely incredible. See you next time. Oh, man.